religion. Well, we want to go to a segment here now for our Undercovered Stories segment. Now, these are stories that basically went under the radar this week. There are quite a few, as you can imagine, new evidence now that we may not be alone in the universe. NASA scientists say the powerful Kepler telescope has spotted five previously undiscovered planets. They are about the size of Earth and in our Milky Way galaxy. That means they could have water on the surface. That's a key ingredient for life to form. And another story, Illinois has become the sixth state to allow civil unions. That gives same-sex couples many of the legal protections that are granted to married couples. Heterosexual couples will also be allowed to enter into civil unions. That's an option to tying the knot. One young man raised by a gay couple gave a rousing speech to Iowa legislators in support of this law. If I was your son, Mr. Chairman, I believe I'd make you very proud. I'm not really so different from any of your children. My family really isn't so different from yours. After all, your family doesn't derive its sense of worth from being told by the state, you're married, congratulations. No, the sense of family comes from the commitment we make to each other to work through the hard times so we can enjoy the good ones. It comes from the love that binds us. That's what makes a family. Now, over the next two hours, I'm sure we're going to hear plenty of testimony about how damaging having gay parents is on kids. But in my 19 years, not once have I ever been confronted by an individual who realized independently that I was raised by a gay couple. And you know why? Because the sexual orientation of my parents has had zero effect on the content of my character. Thank you very much. And now to the best, most undercovered story of the week, New York City's ban on smoking in public parks. For more, we go to Amy Holmes. She is co-host of the radio show America's Morning News and former CNN political contributor. And Eric Cunningham, he's our favorite satirist, founder of the TheFullGinsburg.com. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to see both of you here. Great to be here, thank you. Thanks so what do you guys think? <laughs> this uh, New York smoking city ban, good idea, bad idea? Amy, I've got to start with you. Well, I wonder if Mayor Bloomberg thinks he's the mayor of New York or Singapore. I mean, he's going to put caning on the books here. Uh, tobacco is a legal substance. And these bans, you know who they hurt most, Julian? They hurt most the working class people where, you know, the syntax, I believe cigarette, a pack of cigarettes is $13. And I can assure you, if you go to a private club in New York, if you go to a club with a really high, you know, entrance fee or bottle service, you can smoke inside. I've been to parties where people are smoking inside. It's people who want to take a work break, you know, loading the docks in the middle of the night and take a smoke break. They're the people who are going to really suffer. Eric? Well, I feel like uh, the, the ban is more in parks, and I feel like that's moms send their kids to parks. Like, that's where you go to get fresh air. That's the whole point, is to get fresh air at a park. I mean, we could, uh, we could send kids to bars where there is the smoking ban. I don't think we want to do that either. Well, this law would actually cover where people are gathering, like in plazas and, you know, all around New York City. So what this is to me is backdoor prohibition. And if New Yorkers want to have an argument about whether or not smoking should be outlawed completely, that's an honest debate. But let's, let's be honest about it. Well, what are they not being honest about, do you think, Amy? Well, I think, they're, I think Mayor Bloomberg is not being honest about his intent, and we know from his previous, you know, uh, crusades that this is someone who's kind of a Grinch. I mean, this is someone who wanted to cut sodium from food, so there goes your Chinese food delivery. He, this is another person who, uh, excuse me, he just cut trans fats because he doesn't like fast food, so, you know, now smoking is next. Eric, you got to jump in here. She's talking fast food, she says. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, <laughs> I feel like. Yeah, I feel like uh, re res restricting food options isn't very Grinch-like. He's trying to help people. Uh, to me, that I would imagine that's the opposite of being a Grinch. It's more Santa claus -y or that kind of thing. He wants to help out <laughs> kids all over the world. All right, we'll just leave it there. You guys are both great. Thanks. Eric Cunningham, Amy Holmes, glad we had a chance to talk about what's something you know people haven't been talking about, at least not uh, hasn't made the news uh, this week, but really interesting story. Thanks, guys. Well, you are talking back to us.